I'm Andrew Bowler. I lead portfolio marketing for Nokia's cloud and network services software business. Um, thanks for watching today. I'm really pleased to welcome Sylvia Candiani, um, who's the vice president of Telco and Media at Microsoft. So Sylvia, really nice to meet you. Great to be with you. Thank you. Very good. Um, and also joined by Cal Day, who leads our product and engineering in Nokia's cloud and network services. Hey Andy, good to see you. Great. Um, Sylvia, if it's okay, I'll start with you first. Can you tell us a little bit about the um, partnership between Microsoft and Nokia, perhaps about the kind of scope of the collaboration and, and what's your perspective on it, Keynes? Thank you. It's a great collaboration. We, it dates back uh, a few years, so we've been long-time partners. Um, and I think it really uh, spans across uh, the three dimensions. So um, uh, we are customers of Nokia. Nokia is our customer. And we also envision and go to market together to transform the telcos all up. Um, the scope of the collaboration is uh, quite varied uh, across uh, uh, cloud, but also with a specific uh, focus on cybersecurity. We have an exciting offering uh, CyberDome for extending cybersecurity to the network, but we also uh, collaborate on uh, analytics and Gen AI. I think that's really um, the aim of a partnership because we all, uh, we each bring, you know, a depth of expertise and uh, uh, we value the fact that uh, we are a platform company, so uh, we are quite horizontal in our uh, expertise and we, of course we are you know, leaders in the cloud and generative AI and data. Mm. Um, and so it's great when we um, are kind of uh, joined up with uh, Nokia, which has such a, a strong and in-depth expertise on uh, the network and on the telco domain. Very good. Uh, let's come back to security a bit later maybe, but um, Cal, perhaps you'd like to say some words about like what, what does each um, party bring to the table and more importantly, how does that benefit um, customers of, of Microsoft and Nokia? Yeah, of course. Uh, I think, you know, clearly Microsoft has a great tradition of, you know, building out the Azure cloud um, and lots of innovation that's happening out there combined with the work that Microsoft is doing in security, which, you know, I think we have a, a complementary shared perspective. We have a telco-centric view of security that I think combined with Microsoft's broader security portfolio. Uh, as Sylvia was mentioning, we're doing some really interesting work there together. And then for us, you know, from the Nokia side, we have decades worth of R&D investment and ex expertise in uh, things that are telco specific mm -hmm. uh, on the network. And so I think the combination of that is uh, goodness for us and goodness for our customers. So really complimentary there. Yeah, absolutely, yes. Yeah. Cal, uh, I mean, Sylvia was talking earlier yeah. on about the scope of the partnership across mm -hmm. cloud, AI, security. I don't think we have time to really go into all of those details, but perhaps if we sort of double click on security, it goes without saying that's a really important uh, topic for our customers. Um, can you say something about the, the joint value proposition? And again, like what does each party bring to the table and how does that benefit customers? Yeah, of course. Uh, with Cyberdome and our reach into the network is a level of visibility and our ability to ingest, both sense and ingest signal from a variety of different sources. Uh, the partnership with Microsoft um, allows us to, for the SOC, surface that through SIM and source solutions from Microsoft in particular. Um, that I think the combined value proposition and the way in which we're partnering um, pulls together a security package that is much more comprehensive than what we could do on our own. Yeah. And we see that as uh, also enabling telcos to have a, a very differentiated uh, experience uh, in the security, which enable them to be partners for um, setting up a SOC, for example, mm -hmm. uh, and a security go-to-market, which is an area that is growing so rapidly uh, in the market. So. Um, uh, I really believe it's a very differentiated proposition. Uh, it builds uh, on the strengths of both companies, but it also delivers uh, unique value to our customers, the telco customers, to uh, be successful in the market. Awesome. Um, Sylvia, like any discussion nowadays, you probably can't escape um, uh, a question about AI, um, maybe more specifically generative AI. Um, what are you excited about in Microsoft in terms of Gen AI and what potential do you see for Gen AI to um, impact the, the telecom uh, media market? I mean, it's exciting. I really believe it's a, you know, a paradigm shift and uh, um, what is impressive is the speed 
uh, on this revolution. Yeah. I mean, we've been yeah. in many different yeah. technological revolutions, but I've never witnessed anything as fast and as pervasive as generative AI. Um, a recent study from McKinsey uh, says that uh, there is uh, a potential impact of 80 to 100 billion of um, uh, dollars for the telco industry alone. I think uh, the usage of generative AI will be widespread across all parts of the uh, telco operations from customer service, marketing, sales, um, operations, uh, or, and uh, that is uh, the opportunity. But as I said, there is also an opportunity not just to uh, gain uh, efficiency, but also to uh, innovate uh, products, uh, telco products, to put AI at the center and create uh, the opportunity, for example, for revenue growth uh, through, um, you know, real-time translation in voice calls or uh, a digital assistant uh, for customers to manage their own personal life. So I think we are going to see uh, a number of innovations taking place in Telco, and uh, it's never been a, a more exciting place to be. Cal, maybe just one last question to you. Um, looking towards the future, I'm not going to ask you to bring out a crystal ball, um, but uh, you know, what is it that you're excited about or what is it you're most looking forward to um, going forwards? Really excited about the work that we're doing together in uh, generative AI. Uh, AI in general, uh, we've had a long-standing um, you know, set of innovations that we've leveraged machine learning for pervasively for some time now. And the idea is that wherever uh, you know, it's possible, for us to be able to provide capabilities that can respond at machine speed as opposed to human speed. And, you know, to inject AI in places where um, machine speed can scale much, much more effectively and correlate data in ways that it's just flat out impossible for human beings. Now on the partnership front, therefore we are, you know, like uh, working closely together, leveraging GPT-4, uh, Microsoft's work on LLMs, and uh, training those with um, information and expertise that we have access to around 5G in particular, uh, architecture, security patterns. And so I think you know, what we will be able to do together reflects a general thing about partnerships and the way we think of it, which is um, it's one thing to have two product sets integrated and it's another thing to leverage the partnership to do things that otherwise without that partnership would be flat out impossible. And so that's really what we're looking forward to uh, as we continue our work with Microsoft. Very good. Well, um, we're out of time, but thanks everybody for, for watching. Um, Cal, thank you very much for your time. Certainly. Sylvia, thank you as well. And uh, look forward to some more years of successful collaboration. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks so much.